Are we breaking up? <laughs> Fluky food. You were actually right. You should compare these knockoff cereals with the real thing. My husband insists these are just as good and the same thing. But I disagree and think they are gross and do not taste the same. LOL. We argue over this every shopping trip we do together for groceries. LOL. Thank you, Ashley. We are going to settle this once and for all, and we are going to see what the real answer is. You know, it's funny. While you were reading that, it reminded me of those, like, Dear Sally, this is my problem. <laughs> Dear Ashley. Dear Ashley. Here's your solution. <laughs> yes, all right. Let's find out once and for all. We thought about doing it blindfolded, but it would be tough or one of us would only do it. And we thought, you know what? We don't have a bias, I don't think. I don't see what we get out of saying that the fancy ones are better or something. I don't care. I do love Fruit Loops, I admit that, but uh, these ones are bigger and look much different. So who knows? Maybe they're better. I don't know. Maybe they're just as good. Let's find out. Let's get to it. Yeah, I think even in a blind taste test, we might be able to tell based on the texture and the size. Yeah. Like the, the Walmart ones, because we're doing great value um, Walmart brand. So we're doing Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms, and Frosted Flakes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Walmart brand ones for the Fruit Loops are bigger. <laughs> like they're Yeah, almost, way bigger. They're way bigger. So that's what we're going to start with. Let's start with the knockoff Fruit Loops. Great value, fruity whirls. Okay. I really love the color of these, I have to say. Like, that's awesome. See, I almost, if you had shown these to me, I haven't seen Fruit Loops in so long since I was a kid, I almost would have thought these were because I would have remembered them bigger because everything you remember bigger as a kid. Mm. All right, how are these? I think they taste how Fruit Loops are supposed to. This is what I remember Fruit Loops tasting like, yeah. but, but I haven't had them for a long time. Same. But let's see which ones taste better, I guess. That's the but, whole point of this. But I seem to remember them, because I had them all the time as a kid, but hardly ever since. I remember them being bigger. I don't remember them looking like Cheerios almost, like these ones do, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, these do are, these are the same size as Cheerios. Mm -hmm. The real Fruit Loops. Oh man, Ashley's gonna be so mad if we don't like say that the, the name sorry, Ashley, are better. <laughs> you're right. Real Fruit Loops are right, are the better mm. ones. I kind of like these, I have to say. Oh man. JK LOL. Yeah. R O T F L O L. The real Fruit Loops. Name brand Fruit Loops. I'm nervous. This is the weirdest thing ever. The fake Fruit Loops taste more like Fruit Loops than the real Fruit Loops. I have to agree. Are you sure you got these right? Yes. Those are for sure the fake ones? Absolutely. Okay, we're opening the box right now because I, I actually would like to verify. I don't remember Fruit Loops being all like green and yellow. Look at this. Yeah, these are the real Fruit Loops. Are they trying to make them look more natural? They, maybe they got... Yeah, it's actually at the very top there. Look. No artificial flavors or colors. So doing this whole thing with, you know, getting away from artificial colors, these Fruit Loops, this is not what they looked like. They used to look more like the fake stuff like this. But in a recent video, I remember they couldn't get blue right. And you'll see there's no blue here, but there's bright blue here. They couldn't get blue without the artificial. Yeah. So these just, they don't look as good anymore. These, the fake ones honestly taste more like mm -hmm. Fruit Loops than the real ones. That's, uh, this was shocking and unexpected. Well, I'll tell you right now, if we had been blindfolded and I hadn't seen the difference in the size, mm -hmm. the size, I probably would have said those were Fruit Loops as well. But the taste for sure, it has that Fruit Loops taste mm -hmm. that I remember as a kid. Yeah. I kind of like those. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. We're giving this to the fake ones. Yeah, the fake ones taste better. Yeah. Uh, another thing ruined by, you know, no artificial flavors or whatever. I got to try these again Natural. here. Natural. That tastes like childhood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a very, there's a very rough flavor in there that like Yikes. tastes earthy. So, these are the three kinds that Ashley recommended in her message. So it's not like we picked random ones. These are the three she wanted to see. So, okay. Here we go. Score one for great value. All right, we're gonna try the real Lucky Charms first. Okay, Lucky Charms I had like once as a kid, I think. And if you want to uh, ever check out our video, our last video about some General Mills cereals, right there, 
you are going to see that uh, we were less than kind to Lucky Charms honey clovers. Please don't ever eat those. Please, just they are the worst. Probably the worst thing I've ever eaten. Actually, yeah. they were like burnt sugar. They tasted like an ashtray. It was disgusting. It was horrible. So I hope regular Lucky Charms are better than that. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna get that orange marshmallow there. Honestly, I actually like those way more than I expected to. That's a very childish cereal. Like very sugary and marshmallowy and yeah, like I don't like it, but I think it tastes like it's supposed to taste. Mmm. I love those. Yeah, it's not for me, but it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> it's just not my style. This is really a treat. I did not grow up with these types of cereal. What did you eat as a kid as in, in a in a strict Egyptian household? Cornflakes. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love the hell out of some cornflakes. I love cornflakes. How come Nancy was so mean to you? <laughs> Nancy, couldn't you have bought some nice cereals? Silly Nancy. <laughs> Let's try the knockoff ones, which are called yes. Magic Shapes. Magic These are great value Magic Shapes. They've got marshmallows. They look pretty much the same. They look I the think. same, except a little more like dog food. Yeah, the, the fake ones do look Yeah, like they have that like kind of texture grayish look. Tint. They have a gray tint. To yeah, like them. what are those? Kibbles and bits? Or what? Like yeah. the, uh, I don't know, like the real, like rough, like dry dog food? Like with marshmallows, though. Mm. No. Those remind me of, actually, there was one cereal that we would get sometimes, and it was Alpha Bits. Oh, I love to eat. That's what this, I knew something was. They remind you of yes, them, right? Yes, thank you. That's funny. In my head, I was like, this reminds me of something. It's yeah. alphabets. I loved alphabet cereal growing up. I hated it. I have to, really? Yeah. How come? I don't know, it, because it tasted like that. It wasn't my favorite. I don't know that I hated it, but it was just not. I'd rather have corn flakes. I really like those Lucky Charms. The real Lucky Charms are better. You can't tell me you like those guys. Here's, here's the thing. I want to be specific here. For what they're trying to do, Lucky Charms does a better job. Yeah. And Lucky Charms has way more flavor. Yes, it does. The only thing that makes me hesitate for, and this is purely for me personally, because I don't really like that, I find I find the flavor is so intense and the marshmallows are so sugary. Mm -hmm. It's just way too much for me. And if I had to personally eat one, I would choose the knockoff just because it's less of what I don't like. Like it's, it's not that it's great or anything, but it, it, I get a little more of the alphabet and I get less of those insanely sugary marshmallows. Yeah. So purely for me, if I had to eat one, cause I wouldn't want to eat either one, I would just pick this one because it's less intense, but, but purely in terms of what they're going for and flavor. Yeah. I mean, the Lucky Charms is way more flavorful. There, there's no, there's no contest. Yeah, the Lucky Charms as well, the marshmallows are bigger than the not Way ones. bigger, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so as a quality cereal, if you want a Lucky Charms type cereal, then there's no question this is better. No. There, there, there's Definitely. It's a better cereal. Yeah, it, it is. But for me, just because I don't want that, I would take this one. I think one thing that is interesting, though, let's talk a little bit about the price. Because the Magic Shapes is... 580 grams for about 297. We got this box. Yeah. And Lucky Charms. Yesterday I bought these. 300 grams. And it's about a dollar more, 90 cents more, I think. No, there were three dollars. There's three for nine dollars. Oh, so okay. I got the three that we wanted. So they were the same price, and you get almost double. 280. Almost double. Yeah, almost double the amount. You do, and and also, but I think if you don't but, get the three for nine, I think I I remember I looked at the price. I think it was just under a dollar more. Yeah. More yeah. for less. If they were not on sale, yeah, they were a dollar more. So, so, yeah. but at the same time, if you're having cereal, you want to enjoy it and you want that specific flavor. Sure. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't buy that. Life's too short to eat knockoff. Yeah, well, in terms of who's done a better job, I think we're one and one here. We have yeah. to say the knockoff and then this. Yeah. So, so we got the rubber match and now we're heading into the frosted flakes Ooh. round. Oh, I'm excited. I love this. frosted flakes. Okay, we're gonna start with, let's do the great value frosted okay, flakes. Okay, so this is great value frosted corn flakes. I just, I used to just love eating frosted flakes. Yeah. And I just, I never eat cereal as, as an adult really. I hardly ever have. 
Yeah. The thing that, that I really personally really like about real frosted flakes is you still have that flavor of corn flakes. And so many brands have tried to recreate that very specific flavor and they cannot. And I think that's sort of what the issue is here. Like it's okay. I didn't, I didn't care about it. If that makes sense. I don't think they're that far off. They didn't do the worst job. Mm. I, I really need to compare to this because again, okay. the Fruit Loops thing blew my mind. So I have to know this could taste more like Frosted Flakes than that if they're, they're all natural or something now. I don't know. Oh, well, that would be a shame. So I, I honestly think I'm going to like the real Frosted Flakes. I better. think so, but the, I can't get over the Fruit Loops. That like Those are Fruit Loops? Yeah, green and orange and yellow that was really disappointing it even it didn't even look right they look tiny and the wrong colors like if i want fruit loops we'll buy that massive box of of the fake ones sorry yeah those are more frosted flakes there's something about the actual corn flake that is different it is a different flavor than those knockoff ones the corn flakes on in the fake one and the great value one have no flavor at all the flake itself you're not talking about the frosting yeah. and even the frosting flavor isn't that great frosting flavor is just sugar no it is very subtle but <laughs> as we know my palate is just so much better than anyone <laughs> um well <laughs> you know what i like how you skipped over my comment that's cool oh well, i just thought that was all about you so I didn't want to kind of get into that bubble there I'm gonna give it to the knockoffs better frosted flavor you love cornflakes growing up so you're all about the flake itself that's, and that's what it's all about no it's not get out of here it's about the frosted flavor mm -hmm. I, what I'll tell you I am absolutely sure though or I'm very confident that if we would have done this blindfolded I would have thought that the knockoffs were the real one I would have Okay. I would have. Blindfold yourself. Okay. We're doing this. Okay. This is a knockoff. <laughs> yeah, you are right. <laughs> No, I, because much like the Fruit Loops, there's a certain flavor that just brings you back to your childhood, and it just, and it just like, oh, like that's what I was looking for, and I, I really, I really think it's the same for you. You're taking back to that childhood by cornflakes. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it back to the frosted, exact frosted flavor or the exact Fruit Loop flavor. It's that's why we're having a different reaction here. You can make the case that the frosted flakes flakes feel a little higher quality. That's fine. I can agree with that. But, but that's part of it. But that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. You're looking for a different thing than I am. So I have to say... Are we breaking up? <laughs> no. No, but Ashley and her husband might be. I don't know. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> the thing is, for what I want in a cereal, I would literally prefer the knockoff brand in all three cases. Which is wow. crazy. I'm so sorry, Ashley. She's going to no. regret that she asked for this. No, no. You know what? I agree with Ashley. Uh, other than Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops are disgusting. Real Fruit Loops are terrible. That's the most disappointing thing I think that's ever yes. happened to us on Fluky Food is that Fruit Loops nowadays look different and are tiny and don't taste like anything. And they taste like dirt. The, the Great Value Fruit Loops win for me, Real Lucky Charms win for me, and Real Frosted Flakes win for me. But yeah, if you're looking for that frosted flake taste or that Fruit Loop taste you had as a kid, it is better in the knockoff brand than in the real ones. And that's you know all what? there is to it. No, all there is to it is that Ashley is right and you are wrong. I'm such a suck up. What are you girl power? You... <laughs> I like the real cereals better. Two out of three. Two out of three you do? Yeah. I like three out of I three of the knockoffs. No, but I really didn't like those knockoffs. Well, the best thing I had today was the great value fruit. Wait, what was the best thing you had today? The the surprise to me was that I liked Lucky Charms. 
the real Lucky Charms. Okay, but if you could only have one of these six cereals, what would you have? Probably the Frosted Flakes. The real Frosted Flakes. Yeah. That was your favorite of the six. Yeah. Because you love, because you grew up with Corn Flakes, probably. Yeah. But I, I really did like these Lucky Charms. I actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. I'd probably have these Lucky Charms again. No, oh, it just was way too much sugar for me. No, there was, they're, they're good. They've got some good flavor in them. For me, in first, it is easily the fake Fruit Loops, the Fruity Whirls, and in second, it's the fake Frosted Flakes, the Frosted Corn Flakes. So, okay. Well, there you have it. I hope that was clear. There you have it. You know what? Bring on more suggestions. This was a fun video. I, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Let's give Chris some time alone with these... Uh with these fruit loops because he is just loving them don't forget to drink the milk yeah <laughs> bye <sighs> that was the most passionate video i think we've ever had really <laughs>